Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I still got my genius status. I have figured out how to use the DGX670 as a MIDI controller. Something that no one else seems to have figured out on the internet. Because I've been doing my own searching. Uh, when I got this thing, I did get rid of my 88 key M audio uh, MIDI controller, right? Because I figured, well, you know space right i mean they're both like 88 key keyboards and it's a lot of real estate to take up in my room and uh, i still have to teach students in here um and then of course one of my disappointments of this keyboard was of course the sound effects area which absolutely is barfed uh so i had to buy back my uh 453 to get my sound effects which are all the same but they're actually properly done on the 453 uh, also properly done on the 660 and the 650, but on this one, they really botched it. Anyways, one of the things was MIDI, and a lot of people have asked about this whole MIDI thing online. Um, and it's like, well, even I'm kind of trying to figure out, how do I use this as a MIDI controller? Because um, I know you can do a, a two-way thing with the 453, and that I also have figured out too, uh, the same thing, and it's pretty simple. Uh, in that one. This one's a little different though. To get the MIDI to work on this one, you actually have to go into menu two. So you'll start out at menu one, okay? So press your tab button, your right button, to go to menu two, and then slide over to MIDI, okay? Press enter. Now, don't worry about all this ma major stuff. I mean, if you wanna mess around and go into here, you can see what features are actually available, um, you know? And, uh, but the big thing here is to actually get into the MIDI area and we are going to go to what's called MIDI off, okay? And what we need to do is we gotta go into edit here, okay? And what we need to do here is to actually turn it on, okay? And that, if we go through the up and down arrows here, we can select what we want on, okay? And we go to channel and we want to have the down button which is here and we want port one channel note cc pc pb and then at will be the way it is that's the only change you need to make you it, now if you want to add in your layers and your left your up or your lower your style rhythms and all that jazz i mean you can do that right because then it's all going to be stuffed through here to there and it's like all I want is a simple controller, and that's all anybody's asking for. Just a simple MIDI controller out of this thing. Because even though this thing has a boat can load of sounds, there's a lot of DAWs out there that have stuff in it that this doesn't have, and we want that access, right? And we also don't want to hear our built-in sounds, okay? So anyways, we've got this done, right? Enter, done, exit. Get out of here, boom, boom. Now, you're gonna be on CFX Grand Piano, obviously, right? So turn your volume off, all right? Now, we're gonna to go to the computer next, all right? And uh, so let me just take a quick second to reset things back up. Okay, so fire up your DAW. Uh, in this case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm using Logic Pro. And we're gonna to go to Empty Project. We're gonna to go to a software uh, instrument here. Okay, now the instrument is default patch. Audio output is bus two, okay, because we're using a MIDI device. So software instrument. Now, under the um, preferences, you're gonna go to general, okay? Now under general, you're gonna see um, audio. Click on audio. You're gonna see uh, an input device listed. It may or may not be portable grand. I've already set this up. But Portable Grand is actually my DGX670, okay? You want the output device to be external headphones or whatever device you're gonna use for your external sound. In my case, um, I'm not saying the Mac Mini speakers because they suck, right? So I use external headphones on that computer, uh, but I have to select external headphones so it knows which bus line to use on the computer, okay? Once that's done, you don't have to worry about any of this. Even in the MIDI section here, don't worry about any of this MIDI stuff. You don't need to do it. 
it's already going to have two MIDI inputs. It's going to have the Scarlet. In my case, I have a Scarlet uh, 2i4, and uh, that's my main interface. And then Portable Grand Piano is on port 1, because that's the port I've chosen to use. Okay. Now, um, once you've done that, you can just exit out of there. Now, if we want to go to, say, Studio Horns, just so that you know, like, we, we have the Portable Grand over there, um, you know. Right? But that's a different sound now, right? Okay, so if we go into Synthesizer, um, let's go Sound Effects, Chopped Riser. If I turn the volume up on my keyboard itself, I would actually hear whatever sound is on my keyboard, which I don't want. So you need to turn your keyboard volume to off, okay? <coughs> this way nothing grows through your built-in speakers, because the idea here is MIDI controller, all right? So if we want to go um, African mallets, Right? We've got that. Everything we want, we now have the best of all worlds. Okay? Uh, so I want to go with the Yamaha Steinway, which I hate anyways, but... Right? But I prefer the Yamaha Grand. Right? So now I have a full MIDI controller out of the DGX 670, which is that one change, okay? Now, does it keep those changes under MIDI? Well, there's an actual good question. So, let's take a second and go back to the keyboard. Okay, so we're back to the keyboard here, and are we on autofocus? Actually, yeah, we are. Okay, good. So I wanna turn the power off because eventually you're gonna turn your keyboard off, right? What we wanna know is if it's gonna save those settings, right? So we'll turn our keyboard back on again. This is something that's been frustrating me for a little bit, and uh, because every answer I get on the internet says, no, you can't use it as a MIDI controller. And the manual sucks too, as far as that goes for explaining anything. All right, so let's go back to menu. Let's go to menu two, over to MIDI, press enter. Now it's back to saying that MIDI is off again. So if we go to edit, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, we want to transmit. So we want the transmit section and it says it's off, okay? So we want it back on. And we assume we could hit enter it doesn't allow us to actually save that setting, which is not a bad thing really, because you may want to go two-way next time, or maybe you want to change some, I don't know why it doesn't allow us that whole uh, thing. We're still going through the back speakers here. So even with turning the keyboard off and back on again, I didn't shut down the computer's uh, DAW, and uh, so we don't have to worry about rebooting our whole program or anything, which is kind of nice. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't save the actual setting here. Um, other than, uh, well, what's... Okay, so that's just control change. Um, program change, pitch bend. Yeah, our pitch bend's available. If the uh, sound supports it, it is anyways. <laughs> But in this case, that piano does not support pitch bend. It's a grand piano, right? So anyways, um, but yeah, so, so we can't actually save save, um, which does kind of suck, but we can exit out. Now, under all parts, um, uh, now under, under all parts, you know, transmit, it says, oh, it's, it's, it's on kind of thing. And, and this and that, and it's like, um, okay, all right. So what if we um, we have MIDI as off, right? Now it says it's off, and it is. We get nothing. 
Okay, so enter into there, port one. We can exit out of here completely. Now if we go back in the menu, um, I wonder maybe under utilities, um, headphone switch, okay, configuration, um, nope, printer lock, USB. Uh, that's for your USB flash drive. Okay, so we don't want to go in there. That's not going to help us out any. Main system settings gives us, you know, power off, which I've disabled, you know, backup restore, setup files. So we have no way of actually saving the changes um, that we've made to MIDI. Okay, so, but as long as we haven't, uh, you know, done anything like turn the power off and then back on again. I mean, we can easily go back in. So if we go back to MIDI off, um, edit, it says off, and it is, right? So as soon as we went in there, it shut it down. So port one. Now, if I want my layers turned on, so my layer switch and my left switch, I can turn all those on but I don't want those myself. I just want just the straight keyboard. So the main keyboard is all I want on, but I can go through and turn the other stuff, you know, on and off and whatever, right? Um, so, um, where was I looking here? Edit. See, you go right back in, you gotta turn it back on again. Port one, um, receive. Now the receive, you I, you'd probably want that off because you don't want to have like a double talk coming through your speakers, which is another reason why you have your speakers turned off to begin with because you don't want to hear any of your built-in stuff on the keyboard. You just want to send the keyboard keys straight to your DAW with those files, okay? Um, but you've also got, you know, one base, uh, on base notes, chord detect, that sort of thing, system, you know, it's going to give you all this stuff. But unfortunately, you cannot change um, or save your actual change. So each time you go into the MIDI when you were done with it previous, you go back in, you want your MIDI back on, then yeah, you would definitely have to uh, do that. Otherwise, you can go back to software instrument um, as well, which is another thing we want, software instruments, right? Well, that I go through the headphone jack um, into my mixing board, so I'm taking the sound out from the keyboard, so I can play it on the keyboard and through my reference monitors um, at the same time, and I get my sound out that way, uh, so I can record uh, a regular audio in a regular audio device instead of a MIDI. So this is our, just our straight MIDI section out. So yes, you can actually use the DGX670 as a full MIDI controller. Just remember, volume off, you're gonna to have to go into here, go into menu number two, go into menu where it says MIDI off, select that, press the edit button, turn on whatever you want turned on, okay? But I would just, I would just worry about turning on the main port, right, for the main keys, because that's all you're gonna want for MIDI anyhow uh, when you're using your, your DAW, okay? Um, but anyway, that's it. That's, uh, it's that flippin' simple, man. And, uh, now I have every other available sound under the sun, more so than what this thing has. And that has actually made me happy. Hopefully this makes you happy too. Um, and yes, you can escape out of here. Okay. So now, um, as far as this goes, master volume will get your sound here and there, okay? But you will not be transmitting this sound into there, which is good. You're only gonna be transmitting this. Now, if we turned on our stop start button, that's gonna give us a rhythm here. But then as soon as we do anything, this is what the problem is, right? So, if you wanna send that part out, you could send that part out for your style control, right? Um, but like I said, just that's all we need. Anyways, thanks for watching.
Catch you on the next one.